Mark Lilla, the once and future liberal, after identity politics. In The Once and Future Liberal, After Identity Politics, author Mark Lilla examines American political history from the Depression to Trump's election, the shift from the Roosevelt Dispensation of the New Deal to the more recent Reagan Dispensation. This introduction offers a comprehensive analysis of how liberals have lost touch with the needs and wants of ordinary people, resulting in a lack of vision that has crippled their ability to connect with a diverse voter base. Lilla paints a picture of a fragmented political landscape in which neither conservatives nor liberals offer a unifying political vision, leading to the rise of identity politics and a post-vision America. The Elusive Liberal Doctrine In The Once and Future Liberal, Mark Lilla explores the ongoing crisis of liberalism in American politics. Despite their efforts to resist Donald Trump's presidency, liberals have struggled to present a clear vision and doctrine that resonates with the majority of the American public. Republican opposition and the spread of false information by right-wing media outlets have only worsened the situation. Lilla argues that the decline of the public's perception of liberal doctrine during Democratic presidencies is due to liberals' lack of imagination and ambition. Without a transformative vision, liberals risk losing even their own voter base. American Political History, Two Dispensations In his book, Mark Lilla divides American political history from the Depression to Trump's election into two distinct dispensations. The first, the Roosevelt Dispensation, extended from Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal to the Civil Rights Movements and Lyndon Johnson's Great Society. During this period, citizens across a broad spectrum engaged and shared a set of values that proposed universal values. However, by the 1970s, these values no longer reflected the needs and wants of ordinary people. Mark Lilla argues that the Reagan Dispensation began with Ronald Reagan's election in 1980, representing a departure from these universal values. Conservative politicians and intellectuals who supported Reagan sought to reform, not eliminate, the government. Lilla's two dispensations have a heuristic value, but feel too crude. Liberal and conservative politics traverse a range from a moderate center to the far left or right. Reagan even attracted many ambivalent Democrats. Identity Politics and the Disintegration of the Reagan Dispensation The Reagan Dispensation crumbled due to the media's right-wing support for populism, while liberals failed to offer a popular alternative and instead turned toward identity politics. This focus on small, defined groups led to a disconnection from the mainstream electorate. The Roosevelt Dispensation Civil Rights Movement, in contrast, focused on the oppression of large groups like African Americans, promoting equality and a public, common good. As time went on, however, liberals became more concerned with individual identities and encouraged people to look inward. This shift in focus didn't offer a powerful counterargument to Reagan's conservative political path and ultimately led to the Reagan dispensation's decline. Identity and Politics The shift from collective identity to personal identity has created tensions between identifying with the U.S. as a whole and with specific social or cultural groups. This shift has led to a lack of emphasis on the concept of citizenship. Despite the author's nostalgic perspective, younger voters are unlikely to return to a collective identity and embrace this vision. America's Post-Vision Era America hasn't had a shared political vision for two generations. Republicans and Democrats oppose each other over trivial issues without offering a unifying vision. This leads to a post-vision America where Trump's election is a result. Liberals need to use the unique opportunity to create a larger, more encompassing national vision. Liberal Politics in the Age of Trump Trump's rise to power challenged traditional Republican values and opened up new opportunities for liberals to reshape their political ideology. According to Mark Lilla's book, The Once and Future Liberal, liberals must prioritize institutional politics, rational debate over personal expression, citizenship over individual identity, and civic education to create a shared sense of destiny for all Americans. Lilla's message, while hopeful, may face challenges in today's divided political climate and media-driven landscape. 
Embracing Citizenship In Identity Politics and the Decline of American Liberalism, Mark Lilla argues that identity politics have hindered the development of a united we in public discourse, an essential component of successful liberalism. Instead, he champions the concept of citizenship, a love of country that is inclusive and unifying beyond individual or group identities. To move forward, liberals must embrace the values of citizenship and cultural solidarity to appeal to all Americans. While his ideas may seem old-fashioned, Lilla insists that cultivating citizenship is crucial for progress. As a conclusion to the summary of The Once and Future Liberal, after identity politics, Lilla emphasizes the importance of reviving the notion of a citizenship, which has been overshadowed by identity politics and the focus on personal expressions. Arguing that liberals need to adopt a more inclusive, unifying approach to politics, Lilla suggests that they must work towards embracing values that are common to all Americans in an effort to build a society where everyone can share in its solidarity. He presents a compelling case for refocusing on the key principles of democracy, such as institutional politics, rational debates, and civic education, to create the groundwork for a liberal resurgence.